Here we have a graph, and we want to add additional grid lines to the graph. To do this, we first click on the graph that we want to add grid lines to. Then, we click this plus right here. Where you watch our elements box will pop up, scroll going down, you see grid lines. And there's a little checkbox where you can uncheck it to have no grid lines and check it to, to have grid lines. If you want to edit the detail, the grid lines with more detail, you click on the arrow that um, is next to the grid lines box. Click on that, where then there you will see additional checkboxes that will give you more flexibility on the major and minor grid lines that you see. So, for example, you can have, have vertical grid lines, you can take out the horizontal ones. So, so now you can see there's like a grid line for every day of the week, which might be interesting to you. Um, you can add primary minor horizontal grid lines and the, or minor vertical grid lines, or you can even just have only minor. Um, grid lines to make it look like this right here, but um, you can just click these boxes and um, have your grid lines look the way that you want them to. You can then click more options right there to have more flexibility in what you want the grid lines to look like. So let's just say you know we don't like how these grid lines are gray because you can't see them very broken out very well. We want them to be black. We also want them to be a little bit thicker, right? So that way we can see the different segments broken apart a bit better. Now we can see the grid lines broken apart a bit better. You can adjust the dash type like that. You can also adjust the cap type, which are, which is what you see on the ends. You can even have an arrow to your grid lines. So you can Go back to the plus, grid lines, more options. You can have an arrow to your grid lines. As you can see now, the grid lines are, are pointing up. A stop sign type thing. Or you can also adjust the arrow size as well, too. And pretty much, you can just click on these um, and and have uh, make it look like what you wanted to. So you can see we have a begin arrow, and an end arrow, and an end, and an end arrow, which has an arrow on um, both sides. Yes, this looks, looks kind of funky, um, but it's just kind of highlight how you can edit it, edit the graphs in a lot of different ways. Um, going back a bit to take off the arrows, we're just going to go back from arrow to a line, arrow to a line. And then we're going to change the dash type back to solid. And there you have it. Um, how you can add and edit grid lines in Excel. Just kind of basic introduction to show you where you can go to click um, to edit your grid lines and a couple of the things you can do when you're editing them. Hope you found this to be useful. Like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.